Hello all and welcome to a new video. In this video we will be looking at the new Arctic Liquid Freezer 3, in this case the 240 version, pitted against the Liquid Freezer 2, again the 240 version, non-RGB, and the Phantom Spirit EVO 120, which is one of the best air coolers around. Let's see what we have in the box. The outer box design has changed a bit from the previous version and I think it looks good. As it can be seen, when you open the box you have the pump cover, in this case the ARGB version, which looks ok to be honest. On the right side we have a box with no inscription on it, which contains all it's needed to mount the AIO plus Arctic MX6 thermo paste. Here you have as well the splitter if you choose to control everything separately. We have another box with no description on it. To be honest this is kind of disappointing as there is no info on the box. In it we have the Intel contact frame. This one is designed by Arctic for Intel's latest sockets. This seems like a nice addition from their side. Last but not least the cooler itself. When it comes to looks outside the pump change we have a new painting on the radiator which looks like a matte finish. Oh and the tubes as well have changed and are a bit more flexible. Now let's move on to the installation for the AMD platform. I think this is worse than before, at least from my point of view. Now why I'm saying this? To me, this resembles a lot to mountings on an air cooler. First of all, let me mention that this installation was done with soft material beneath. This is why you see the case moving. The biggest issue that I see is that you can't really find the perfect balance in order to screw in the pump. But why is that? Well, because probably 70% of the pump is beneath the two screws that I'm struggling right now. I had the GPU installed and it's quite hard to install it. You really need to find the perfect balance in order to be able to screw it in. Look how much of the pump is beneath these two screws. Not an easy task for the uninitiated. Once you manage to finish the installation, depending on the case, the tubes may stick out. So you'll be needing to do some angle adjustments on the pump side. Once you become worthy after the installation, you'll be greeted by a nice looking AIO. So how did I test? I did 4 10 minute for mark runs and logged the readings using Hardware Info 64. To paint a picture from the logs I'm using Hardware Info 64 log viewer. In red we have the readings for the Liquid Freezer 3 240 ARGB while in green we have the Liquid Freezer 2 240. On the top left we have the CPU speed for the 10 minute run. On the top right we have the temperature readings. On the bottom left we have the cooler's fan speed and on the bottom right we have the CPU power. Looking at the averages from 4 rounds we can see that the Arctic Liquid 3 leads. Now let's be honest 0.4 degrees is nothing much compared to one of the best air coolers around and when compared to the Liquid Freezer 2 we can see less than 1 degree difference. As you can be seen here air coolers do quite well and this match 240 AIOs so take that in consideration. Thermal light is killing 240 AIOs with the performance and price. Now let me show you the average CPU speed across 4 runs. The Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 leads again, but take a better look as the differences are not big. 16 MHz separate the Liquid Freezer from the Phantom Spirit EVO, while both the Phantom Spirit SE and Arctic Liquid Freezer 2 are tied. Given how close the thermal difference is, this is expected. Now, taking into account the cooling performance, when should you go with an AIO, at least a 241? Probably the most important thing is looks, and that is because of RGB. AIOs don't cover the lights on the memory sticks. Couple that with the pump and the fans, and you have a nice rainbow effect. Another thing to consider is space. Not all cases can fit big two tower coolers. Now, why should you choose air coolers over AIOs? The best air coolers around perform more or less the same as a 240 AIO. Air coolers are more often cheaper, at least the thermal right ones. And last but not least, no worries of leakage. The only thing that can fail on an air cooler are only the fans. When it comes to the impression of the new liquid freezer, these are a mixed bag. I like the looks and the pump head design, but I don't like the changes made to the installation on the AMD platform. When it comes to cooling performance, I think you guys should decide. And that's it. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button and consider subscribing to the channel. Hope to see you all in the next one. Take care.